Arthritis can make doing everyday tasks a painful struggle, but humans are not the only ones dealing with the pain. Your furry friends can also develop arthritis. Here with more on how to ease their suffering is our resident vet, Marty Becker. Marty, great to see you. Thank you, you my great friend. Great to see you. So we know as we age, we feel the aches and the pains, and we develop arthritis, but this can happen to our pets as well. I was talking to Richard Besser today, you know, the ABC human specialist, he health specialist. If you're a human and you have arthritis, you're, you let somebody know or everybody know, my hip is hurting me, I don't want to get up, and, yeah, yeah, I'm having yeah. trouble. But pets can't talk to us. But they do talk to us in their own way, we just have to learn how to interpret that. But most pets are going to get arthritis sometime in their lifetime, and the number one reason they get arthritis is because we feed them too much. So obesity, just like it does obesity. in humans. Obesity. Obesity oh. in pets. So. And what are some of the signs? Just seeing them limp? Is, are they obvious signs like that? Are there more subtle signs? Well, okay, first of all, if, if you take a dog, it's two different things. Yeah. If you have a dog, they're not going to want to go on walks. They're not going to be as playful. They used to jump up on the couch, jump up on the bed, jump up inside the car. They don't want to go up. But stairs are forbidden now. If you're a cat, they don't groom themselves because they can't reach around. The litter box, they're not going to the litter box. Oh, they think the cat's trying to spite us now. It's not using the litter box. It won't climb up because the litter box is too high. Oh, so also, they don't want to come up on the perch. What age does this tend to happen, both in dogs and cats? You're going to see it probably as starting in the age of six or seven. Like larger dogs, like Great Danes, is going to start younger, maybe in the four to five range, and smaller dogs in the eight to nine that range. That seems but, so young. But, you know, if you look at this model yeah. right here, let's look at what a normal hip looks like. Mm. You see this hip right here. See a nice, smooth, round surface that works freely in this hip? And then if you look at this hip socket over here, this would be for a dog or cat. You notice how it has these arthritic changes and it's oh, often bone against bone. You can just tell that's bone. painful, yeah. yeah. And so there's signs of arthritis actually before you see the physical signs. So, you know, there's already arthritis is developed. So you've got some tips. We're going to talk about how we can treat it, but also some ways we can maybe try to prevent it a little bit or push yeah. it back, right? First thing is keep your pets near their ideal body weight. If you do that, you're going to have a lot less arthritis. So that's what I would yeah. encourage you number to do first. Yeah, number one tip. Now, yeah. but you brought with you this great new laser. This is a new way of treating arthritis, right? I love this. It's companion therapy laser. And what you actually do is you use the wand and you rub the end of this wand over the joint surface. So let's pretend this is the hip joint. I would do this for about five minutes on each joint. It's called a class four laser, so it penetrates deeply. It reduces pain and inflammation. You do it for five minutes on this joint, five minutes on the other joint. It takes uh, four to six treatments. Here's the part that you're going to blow you away. It only costs about $250 average for four to six treatments. That's amazing. So try getting that on the human and how, side. And how long do the results last? It's, it would probably last uh, close to a year, but when wow. you repeat it, you only have to do one or two treatments. So you might be $50 per year. You're kidding. So how And how long can you push off the pain in your pets with this? A how lot many of years? A lot of times, this this itself is all you need to do the arthritis, or if it, or you might use it to reduce some of these other drugs we're going to talk about. Right. So you could use less of the drugs, more of the therapy. Fantastic! But and your local veterinarian would likely have one. Of there's over 600 ones. veterinarians already have this unit, Fantastic. so it's brand new. Used by a lot of a lot of major sports teams too. So the very same unit is used by basketball teams and baseball teams and. So you can use it on yourself. Yeah, you, can, you actually can. <laughs> right. All right. Now you also have here some stem cells, correct? Tell us how that we works. We think of stem cells. Ooh, that sounds yeah. forbidden, right? These are actually adult stem cells, and it's harvested from the dog or cat's own fat. So you take a fat sample. It's sent into this tube to a lab, and they harvest the adult stem cells, and then it's re-injected into the pet. So it's going to take, uh, you know, it might take a, a couple of injections. Uh, it lasts anywhere from six months to three years. Now, it's a little pricier. It's $2,500 to $3,500. Wow, it's a lot pricier than the laser. A lot pricier. Uh, but again, sometimes in about a third of the pets, uh, this is curative. And what it does is it increases uh, uh, production of normal cells, increases the blood supply, decreases the loss of So for cells. some pets, this is it. They just need this treatment, and that's it. Yeah, and again, it might need to be repeated you right. know, in several right. years. But right. uh, the good thing about this, too, pet insurance, all the major pet insurance companies do cover this as part of your pet insurance. So Fantastic. if you have veterinary pet insurance, it's going to cover it. Fantastic. Now tell us about these anti-inflammatories. We think of anti-inflammatories. We call them non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. So if you're thinking of ibuprofen or naproxen, you know, which might be known as the lead. Those are non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. These drugs work like a miracle in a lot of pets. That are they pet, prescription? Or you they are them? prescription. Okay. Uh, I use Remedil a lot in my practice and the Deramax, but it's a, it's a once daily chewable tablet that they can take or can come in so injectable form. So this is an form. easy, more affordable way of treating well, them. Well, what I want you to understand, your veterinarian may use, may use one of these or several of these. They may use the joint diet we're going to talk about later with the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, with the laser, 
or they just